Once there lived a beautiful young girl who was loving and kind, Cinderella. Hey guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to get Lily James' look from the live action film Cinderella. Today I will be diving into Colourpop's new Disney collection which I am so obsessed with. The packaging is a starry black box with pop-up high fashion Disney princesses and they all look so cute. The collection includes the It's a Princess Thing eyeshadow palette. The Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Ultra Lip Glosses, the Fairy Tale Moment Super Shock Eyeshadow Singlets, Cream Lux Lipsticks named after the princesses on the box, and the Super Shock Cheek Pearl Eyes in the gorgeous shade called A Smile and a Song. So, to begin, apply your favorite foundation, then apply a bright concealer under your eyes and over your eyelids for a wide awake look. Moving on to eyebrows, fill them in with a warm brown and slightly overline them to get that iconic full brow like Lily and clean up any mistakes with concealer. Next apply a soft pink blush to accentuate your cheekbones and drag the blush a bit down further to make your face appear longer. Also add blush on your chin and forehead to give a flush look all over. Now for the nose, if you want to appear more like her, contour the farthest away from your actual nose bridge as naturally possible and drag it up to your eyebrow. Honestly, we're not going to be able to look too much alike since her face is too unique in shape, but what we can do is capture her essence, so don't stress about being perfect. Diving into the Disney palette, I'm grabbing the nude pink shade here and applying that into the crease. Then taking the burnt orange, I'm applying it onto the eyelid since her eye look is warm and subtle. Finally, I'm applying the dark brown near the lash line and smudging it on the top and also the bottom lash line. Be sure to be very light with it because the color is barely visible. Now I see she had a little bit of eyeliner as well, so just apply some on the outer corner. Next, you want to curl your lashes and apply a light coat of mascara. And finally, you want to smudge the outer corner of your eye upwards to give the appearance that your eyes swoop up like lilies without the use of heavy eyeliner. Now the last step is the lips. Overline and fill using the Cinderella lipstick mixed in with Belle's lipstick to create that pinky orange shade she wears in the film. So this is the finished look. A big thank you to Colourpop for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can see you in my next one.